Hello everybody, welcome back to Tech Check Tech Tips. Today we'll be talking about the basics of VPN. I'll be covering completely about what a VPN is and why you should get a VPN. This video is a two-part series and this is part one, so do stick around until next week when part two will be dropped. Yes, here are the timestamps for the video for you to scroll up and down with these because it's going to be pretty lengthy. Now, let me start off by asking, what is a VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network initially used by governments and then businesses and then you so that your connection remains private and your location is not disclosed to hackers. In a nutshell, a VPN allows you to have an encrypted connection so that you are less prone to malware, etc. Now, let's talk about who a VPN is for. The short answer is everyone. If you feel like you need safe browsing or want to leave no tracks online, the VPN is for you. Yes, this includes accessing banned websites in your country. Oh yeah, be sure to stick around for part 2 where we'll be talking about free VPN. This brings us to... Are VPNs legal? I mean, it's complicated depending on which country you're in. But for the memes, here are some examples of countries where owning a VPN can get you in trouble. Okay, so those were a few examples. Yes, there are more examples, but this is more than enough for one video. Do check out your government website if you want to be sure that VPN is legal in your country. But as long as you keep your usage within legal boundaries and don't do anything illegal, VPN is legal everywhere. Illegal activities on a normal country include theft, fraud or scams, spamming, yes, that's illegal, hacking or spreading viruses. But don't worry, good VPN brands don't allow these activities. It's on the terms and conditions page. This is where the general misconceptions of VPNs come from, that they're used by hackers. Don't worry, that's not the case. This brings us to... Are VPNs reliable? According to whizcase.com, paid VPNs are more reliable than free VPNs. However, VPNs are grouped into a three-tier system depending on how good they are, grouped into three levels. Tier 1 being great and Tier 3 being not so. Tier 1, you'll have a reliable connection with 99% uptime. You can go online without transiting. And these VPNs do have good network speed and stability. Tier 2, you only get some of the bandwidth and network which makes speed very slow. Tier 3, the same things mentioned in Tier 2 but they're just more worse. You might be wondering, what on earth is all this? Don't worry, everything is behind the scenes to make sure your experience is butter smooth no matter the tier. If you choose the right VPN for you, then any VPN is reliable. Yes, we'll be talking about more VPNs in part 2, so do stick around. Now let's move on to the benefits of using a VPN. It's mostly about security and privacy, but there are more. Number 1. Securing your Wi-Fi when you're using public Wi-Fi. It's on the rise nowadays that hackers can steal your data when you connect to a public Wi-Fi source. If you don't want to get hacked, use a VPN. It conceals your IP address, making it difficult for hackers to access your phone. Number 2. You can avoid censorship when traveling to certain countries. China, for example. You can't use Facebook, WhatsApp, Google, and YouTube, and Instagram in China. So getting a VPN helps you communicate with others outside, including your loved ones. Number three, bypassing geo-blocking restrictions. Companies are using this strategy nowadays to boost their revenue. So you can only view a limited amount of shows and movies. Crazy, right? It is extremely popular nowadays and don't be surprised to find out you can or will get ripped off in the future. So just get a VPN. You can watch more movies and shows. It's a win, right? And guess what? VPNs also can be free. So do stick around for part two coming out next week. Oh yeah, just before I forget, these geo-blocking restrictions apply with school Wi-Fi and office Wi-Fi as well. Just to know. Benefit number four, safe torrenting. You can also do torrenting without a VPN, but people do it illegally, so countries ban it. With a VPN, you can download and torrent videos, no problem. Number five, getting the best prizes for online shopping. Yes, this is a thing. Get a VPN and you might just end up paying 20-30% extra. This is something called location-based price targeting. So if you're from a country like the United States of America, you might be actually paying more than what you would do if you're in India because the average household income in the USA is higher than the average household income in India. 
Do you want to save 20 to 30% more when buying your next online product? Get a VPN. Yes, there are more advantages including gaming and leaving no trace online. But I bet you are tired from all this watching and I am tired from all this speaking. So be sure to stick around for part 2 dropping next week where we'll be talking about the top 5 free VPNs and the top 5 paid VPNs. With that being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Do drop a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below on what I've missed out. Wrapping it up, ciao.